1300 it was the Black Plague. Then 1920 was the Spanish Flu. We even had Ebola, but we had never seen nothing like Corona. This piece of shit started out late January, cause some Chinese nigga said, You not hungry? Yeah, me hungry real bad. What you want eat? Uh, let's make a, a, a soup. I get spot. From then there, the virus has run rampage all across China, spreading across the Europe, all across America, and now unfortunately the small islands in the Caribbean. The foreseen months are going to be rough. The narrative has now become man versus virus. Is this the extinction of mankind? I'm Warwick Martin, and this is my story. It's been a couple weeks since the outbreak. The virus has decided to become a pop star and went on a full-blown world tour, co-signing their new artist, Patient Zero. Jamaican government has now officially announced a nationwide self-quarantine. Day one of being self-quarantined wasn't a surprise for me. Due to my already inherited introverted nature, this was a blessing from God. On the other hand, the national motto was Therefore, it was only a matter of time before the typical citizens lose their cool. It's been five days and this outbreak has proven that not even midnight is as dark as Jamaicans. Sanitizer has now become the new bleaching cream and niggas are walking around looking like CDA workers from Monsters Inc. Mommy say if you take out the garbage, so just remember that. Seriously? Oh my dead mama, I'm not going out by no virus, brother. First of all, our mom is alive. Bro, watch out, bro. You can go. I'm not dead by no virus, though. Whatever, dog. Just remember to take out the garbage in, cause you're a trip. Don't do it. You're not sick. Don't put on the mask, please. Dog. Oh my god, dude. You're yeah, overdo it, brother. Psh. Gotta stay safe, bro. It may not have been long, but it's been rough. For several days, my only purpose in life was to wash my fucking hands. As I wake out of bed, I was washing my hands. Meditate, washing my hands. Eat breakfast, washing my hands. Absolutely nothing, washing my hands. At this point, I was living in a damn sink. On a good note, after the long isolation, I finally discovered that I had a maid. I think her name was Mom. She does everything for me but keeps yelling at me saying that I'm lazy and I should be more productive. This virus must have gone to her head cause she must be delusional. It's been 15 days and boredom is an understatement. The unfunny are on TikTok. Niggas doing cringe until tomorrow challenges. Day like this I was sleeping on the couch. The couch was sleeping on me. I was watching the computer. The computer was watching me. Miss I was beating my meat. The meat was beating me. I was going insane. But on the bright side, my facial hair has been growing. So long, baby face. Day 25 and shit is getting out of hand. The most honorable bro got has officially placed the country on lockdown. A new curfew was implemented. 8 o'clock, all streets were cleared. Niggas as usual were unruly. The feds are wilding. At any minute, the whole country is about to purge. How much longer will this pandemic last? Just lay up on the chopper phone now. As she reached home, she takes me, says she home alone. Lay up on the chopper phone. Lay up on the chopper phone. Just lay up on the chopper phone now. As she reached home, she takes, says she home alone. She got me now, but she wanted done alone. Problem when we open the iPhone X. Me just a flex, me me ex get vexed. Brand new clocks and a Chris Rolex. Them a watch me, them no know what's next. Man I see me and I eye them girl, them no want them girl. End up in a cheese like phone. If girl was a store cheese, like it.